When it comes right down to my personal choice, I prefer the aluminum card holder from Exter is the newer, sexier version of the Senate, while as the Secret is really the OG of box walls. So how do they compare to each other? Which one is my favorite and which one should you buy? Don't compare us. Let's start with the Secret. The box itself is also the packaging. And this little presentation we have here. And I did order the card protector here and also the money band. We'll set aside my little booklet and let's take a look at these. So, hmm, here is the money band, love this. Of course it comes in all kinds of colors and different textures. The card protector is just the box itself and let's get the money band right here. So to make this fair, we need a money band and so we'll push this over the top, have it slide on down, center it a bit and there is our sacred card protector with the money band. We now have the Exter. This is the aluminum brushed black version. This is a recent release of theirs, new release. Their packaging is really nice. I, I like how it slides, it's very compact. And you have this little push hole right here to get the wall out. Let's see what they've given us. I think it's the usual, there we go. Plenty of advertising cards uh, that come with it. And let's see, we've got oh, yet another one here to demonstrate the capability of this back plate. What we see here, this is a silicon band versus the elastic we see on the Secret. Well, let's do this. They're both box type wallets, so is this a boxing match? Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Coming up next, a boxing match where the fighters are bleeding before the fight? We'll first start with the feature review on the extra aluminum card holder. We have one interior card slot right in here. And of course it has this eject button up below. It can hold up to six cards, a varying number of cards between uh, one and six, uh, depending if you have embossed or non-embossed cards involved here. And then we have this exterior plate. This uh, card plate right here is really nice and it's held in place by this silicon strap that we mentioned. And uh, notice how it has this channel right here. You can see that channel right there. Love that because of course that channels the silicon strap and keeps everything in place so that this back plate isn't shifting around a lot. I don't think it's as, as flexible as the elastic version of this, but it gives a great look. It's very clean. And of course, this is all RFID by default because it's in a metal and this is aluminum in this particular case. It measures 4.2 by 2.5 by 0.4 and it weighs 81 grams or 2.9 ounces. So what is there to like about this extra aluminum card holder? Now, I've always really liked the Senate. This is the Senate, which is one of the two originals that Exeter shipped, the Senate and the Parliament. And you'll notice that it has an integrated band with this back plate. And I did a carry test on this. I really like it. Uh, and this, this plate was awesome. This is one of the things I like about this most. And with the new aluminum card holder, they carry over all that functionality, realizing I think they had a winner here. I like the clean lines of this aluminum card protector. And uh, the plate is perfect for stacking all kinds of cards, currency, whatever. And it's a privacy plate at the same time. So let's look at the sacred card protector with the money band right here. We have this card slot right here, this interior card slot. It can uh, hold up to eight cards, they say, but it's really eight cards plus this back. Six cards, same situation as we saw with the Exter. And it, uh, it depends on embossed in, and also non-embossed cards. It's ejector, button is here on the bottom. It is tucked away a bit and this is what uh, pushes the cards out. We'll see that in a second. And then with this money band here, it provides that capacity to put other types of cards, uh, cash, whatever it might be, and especially cards that don't fit in here, standard size cards. This could be insurance cards. It could be, I don't know, Metro passes, whatever you want to have exposed a bit. And you are exposed as there's no privacy on this one, unlike what we saw with the extra backplate. But this box is also RFID shielded because it is made of extruded aluminum measures 3.8 by 2.5 by 0.4. And it weighs 50 grams or 1.8 ounces. Same question, so what's there to like about the Secret? So let's be honest, the card protector is what started it all with box wallets in the ejector category. Simplicity and ease of use, the trigger has a solid reputation with longevity in the marketplace. It's constantly updated with features, including engineering that continues to uh, be updated based on the learnings they get from their customers and in the marketplace. And I like this band, I like elastic a little bit more. It is easier to work with. It, there's a lot more flex than we see with the silicon band, and I think this works just fine. So let's start with the card and cash insertion test.
So let's take a look at the Exter, the Aluminum Brushed Black. This is designed in the, in the Netherlands and it's made in China. It's made from a 6061 T6 aluminum and you will notice that there's not very much inserted into this. All the mechanics uh, come in here in this insert in the bottom. You can see this seam right here that comes about. And this is where the, of course, button and the whole lifter mechanism inserts into the bottom here. It presents excellent durability and functional stability over other box wallets that uh, really kind of screw the front and back together. This is being a single piece of aluminum. You know, I'm going to show you what this interior strip looks like right here. So in this, you can tell that it's only on one side. It is rubber. And it really provides friction to prevent cards from flying out when you invoke the button and you start you know, having them extract. Now let's take a look at the Secret Card Holder. This is designed and made in the Netherlands and it is from an aluminum billet which has been extruded to create the box. And there's a small video you can watch on their website about that. It is quite fascinating. The interior walls, uh, there is an insert that goes down both sides and an, ins an insert that comes up from the bottom that maintains the trigger and the lifter mechanism. Now let's take a look at its friction. It's two felt pads, one on each side. And with that, that again helps stop cards from you know ejecting themselves. But these felt ones will wear down over time, I would suspect. But however, they can be replaced. Uh, if we look at these two from a pricing perspective, you, you get a feel of the difference. So the extra is $63 currently as a filming and the secret is 61. The box itself is 45 with another $16 for the money band. Now the extra comes with a 14 day full refund, 60 day exchange guarantee. Your extra wallet has a unique serial number as well. Let's see if we can see it up here. It is right here at the top, right inside that lip, which is nice to understand the authenticity of your extra wallet, but there is no registration capability on their website. Now if we look at the secret, the secret it comes with a two year guarantee with a 60 day return policy. And like the extra, you do have your serial numbers in here and you can register this on their website, which gives you an extra year worth of coverage. Now let's compare the two. That's a, kind of what we've been waiting for here. As you can tell, we're going to give this just a little bit of give down here because of the lifter mechanism that pokes out here versus the extra, but the extra is definitely a little taller. And that is because the incorporation of the trigger mechanism that we see in here, the sweeper mechanism on both on the interior really resemble each other, but the implementation is different due to the trigger configuration. Now I prefer the Secred's trigger mechanism due to its protected stance when it's not in use. I mean, it could be caught and pulled that way, uh, no different than the extra that could be caught and ripped either way. When it comes right down to my personal choice, I prefer the extra due to this privacy plate right here. It's also a nice organizational method uh, for other additional items that you wouldn't be able to carry in the box. I also like the rubber friction pad that's on the interior of the extra better than the felt pads that we see on the Secret. However, I do like the Secret's size. It's a little bit shorter and I do like their trigger mechanism uh, quite a bit more than I do the extras. But regardless, the materials on both of these are excellent. I, I'd carry both, but my favorite is probably the extra really because of this back plate. If you like this video, then watch this one next right here. Both products are excellent and my recommendation is to choose one that fits your lifestyle the best. I know, total cop out. We'll see you in the next review. Bye.